<laughs> we are. Okay, great exercise, guys. Oh, that's our exercise music. <laughs> Okay. Welcome, welcome to our life. <laughs> That's a nice uh, surprise. Hi, already. Good day. Welcome, welcome. <laughs> Come on. Let's burn up those calories from our lunch. Let's burn up those calories from our lunch. Come on. Hey, 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 hey. Michelle, the fast is going to put us out. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> oh, listen here, guys. It's time to work off some of that food. Listen. I had the most delicious lunch. I had a sugar-free, oh, wow. I made a sugar-free cornbread just for me. Oh, sure wow. So oh, wow. I did, I did. Nice, sounds really nice. I did. Sugar-free. It was. Where are you, Marlene? Come back. It, Come was, back. <laughs> it was totally delicious. All right, turn the camera just a little bit. Turn, you're echoing a little, Marlene. I got so. you. I got you. you got me? Okay, good. Oh. <laughs> Welcome, good everyone. Good afternoon. Good evening. No, it's good afternoon. Lisa, how you doing, my darling? Hey, girl Lisa. Over there in Orlando. We nice. are so happy to have you guys joining us today. Michelle, yes. myself. this is a regular Tuesday. We're getting a little late start because yeah. we have a lot going on today. And um, <laughs> bake, if I show you my all of the food, the baking. Sugar. Bake me some sugar-free, Michelle. I just had to. I had to <laughs> dessert. <laughs> oh, wow. All that good stuff. Um, changing. Can you hear me? I awesome. can hear you. Wait, wait, awesome. Wait. Awesome. Beautiful. So you, okay, so good evening. Good afternoon. Look at me saying good evening. Good afternoon. I'm really ecstatic to join this live. Thank you, everyone from Sierra Leone. Everyone, one day we got to meet you. We're talking yes. today about sprouts. We're talking about sprouts. Michelle's going to put our information up on us. But before you do, have right. you ever sprouted before? Have you even yes. ever had sprouts before? Mm. Some of you may have yes. had sprouts, but you just don't realize. Uh -huh, you've never yes. realized that you actually were having them. Because sometimes I put them on my burgers at, at our little store. I mm, put it on our burgers. Nice. I put nice. it in our salads. And then you mm. may have had some, some sprouts in your stir fry and didn't realize it. Yeah. Nice, okay. Nice. Well, oh, let's wow. welcome. Let's Kelly. welcome everybody. Hi, Kelly. How are you? How you doing, darling? <laughs> and Edward in Sierra Leone. Thank you for and, joining. And us. Lisa Tahana. That's how we say that. Tahana. Lisa Tahana. Pretty Tahana. name. Tahana. Beautiful. <laughs> Beautiful. Yeah. We're very happy that you joined us today. Michelle and I are trying to make a weekly. Tuesday show out of this, um, yes. just to educate you. And so we're going to be with you for the next few moments. We're yes. going to be talking today about sprouts. Sprouts. Michelle? Sprouts. Yes, yes, let's go. Let's see what is sprouts. So let's go back. Let's go. Why am I on this slide? Let's go back. I'm at the end. Let's start at the beginning. Okay. Lifestyle 360. And it also includes sprouts. Because I know a lot of people, we're not utilizing the benefits of sprouts. And so I'm um, going to encourage you to get into sprouts because for so many reasons. So first of all, it's, it's so cheap to do sprouting. Yeah. A bottle of container can cost probably about 25 cents to 50 cents. Mm. Um, just two tablespoons of seeds. And we're going to go. Marley is going to demonstrate all that later okay. on but right. more than likely you have seen or eaten sprouts you may have had them in salads sandwiches or in just some chinese takeout mm -hmm. but what do you know about them what do you know about them mm. what are they what are sprouts 
They're actually the germinated seeds of vegetables, seed grains, or nuts. They are sold usually in the produce aisle, in the grocery stores, and sometimes you can get the really nice rare ones at the farmer's market. And for me and Marlene, we've been making our own. We make mm -hmm. our own sprouts. So today we want to share with you how we do, how easy it is to sprout. And we want you to, to encourage you to start sprouting. And now we're going to talk about at least the benefits, the reasons why you need to sprout. Because one mm -hmm. of the best ways that you can get more nutrients is by just eating sprouts. They yeah. have many different flavors from sweet to earthy, like the beet sprouts, the beet seeds, the, the spicy ones. Like if you use um, radishes can be spicy or you can use um, mustard greens or another spicy one would be, um, what's that, like a kale, similar to a kale. Um, if anybody can tell me in the link, but there's so many spicy ones that you can do, you can sprout. And all those spicy arugula, that's the one I was thinking about. Mm, and because yeah. they also have this hearty texture. Yeah, so they add, bit, yeah. yes, the crunch or the, the mm -hmm. different textures in your mouth. And so you should go ahead and add them. I like to even stir fry them. And there are many, many different types. Marlene, you want to do the next slide? Sure. You on the different types, correct? So types why? Sprouts. Oh, you want me to do the types? Go back to the yeah. types. Okay, great. No problem. So there are different types of sprouts. On my table, I'm doing beans and peas. Yeah. So we have lentils. I'm doing some lentils. I'll show you in a minute. Right? I don't know if you can see yep. that. Then we also have um, pea sprouts. We have chickpea sprouts, soybeans, mung beans. Man, I got some mung beans that are growing here. They will soon outgrow my jar, guys. Oh, Listen. Yeah, yeah. Beautiful. I just, I'm just in love with all the sprouting. Let me put them back to bed until we're finished with our talk. Then we have the azuki bean sprouts. And then, of course, we have the grain sprouts. Rice, wheat berries, corn, oats, barley, rye, millet, alfalfa. These are the grains. And, of course, we have our nuts and the seeds. We have walnuts, yep. pecans, Brazil nuts, hazelnuts, pistachio, macadamia, chia, Quinoa, which I have here, a jar full of quinoa, and sunflower and fenugreek. In addition to that, we have vegetable sprouts, like the radishes, the broccoli, the cauliflower, beets, kale, and cabbage. They sound like they're in the cruciferous family to me. That's yeah. what they sound like, right? And those are our yeah. cruciferous um, sprouts. Why are sprout grains better for you? Well, take it away, Michelle. Okay, so let's go to that. Let's see. Why are they better? Because guess what? They have more nutrients than actually the mature grains. The process of germination actually breaks down the starches of the grain and they make them more easier to digest when you cook them. And Marlene and I always talk about the, like, for example, the Ezekiel bread. People find that if they can't eat regular wheat bread, mm -hmm. they will tolerate Ezekiel bread because they were sprouted, the grains were sprouted before they actually make the bread with them. Exactly. Because the, it's, it's the, the, the sugars are more developed, and so it's not as complex. The grain is not as harsh and complex on the digestive system. So also, while that's happening, it's also increasing the vitamins and the nutrients, vitamin C, the folate, the fiber, everything is on the increase, the zinc and all that. All the levels are more increased when you have sprouted grains. So if you find wow. that you can that if you can tolerate grains, sometimes you should try sprouting them before you actually use them. Wow. Prepare them. And we have a lot of people, Michelle, who are having such an intolerance to grains these days. As a matter of fact, we could think of several um, persons, even in the program that we do, who are having an sure. intolerance to grains. And so many times as people come to my shop and they say, they say well, I can't have grains. I say, have you tried it sprouted? Um, more than likely, you can't tolerate the Ezekiel bread or you can't tolerate yes. the sprouted grains. But yes. um, <laughs> thank you so much. So there, the next slide says that one increases the bioavailability of nutrients. When we think of the um, more nutrients such as proteins found in the sprouts, minerals, vitamins, these are, are available than more available, I guess, than eating the actual plant. So look at that. 
Look at the yeah. um the chart. The chart is just giving you a full picture of what these sprouts look like, the proteins, the fats, and the carbohydrates. Um, because it was sprouted. And I think that's just an added benefit, a big added added benefit. Um, unlike having the foods themselves. Yes. Uh. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna talk because we're gonna get into sprouts. We wanna emphasize the safe handling of sprouts because Despite that, the nutritional advantages, uh, as we're going to get into the, them, um, they also carry a serious risk for foodborne illnesses if they're not done properly. So you yeah. want to pay attention while we're teaching you um, how it's easy to do, but you, however, these are some of the things that you need to do to avoid foodborne illness. You have to make sure you wash your hands and wash the jars properly with hot soapy water. If you want to even go ahead and sanitize your jars, even mm -hmm. more, that, that's even better. And just using proper hygiene. So naturally you won't go to the restroom and don't wash your hands and come and do sprouting because mm -hmm. that, that's, you will increase the risk of E. coli. And it's like, and, and salmonella, you don't want to be preparing mm -hmm. chicken and eggs and then, you know, the same hand put on the sprouts. It's the same natural basic hygiene principles that you will use when you're handling sp sprouts. It's better to use filtered water um, than, say, water that is not filtered or you're not sure that it's properly, it's clean. Rinse your sprouts at least twice a day and avoid that standing water. So Marlene is going to demonstrate to you how you need to put the jars so that there's no water just there sticking that would help, help to increase foodborne illnesses. Make sure that they're, they are not overcrowded in the container. That's to prevent mold from developing. So it needs to be aerated. And before you refrigerate your sprouts, you need to make sure you rinse it. And after you rinse it, you make sure you drain it properly and make sure all the water, because when you put it in the refrigerator, you're going to stand it up right now. And you don't want all that water to be in the base of the jar or the container mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. it is sitting in because that can also speed up the process of your, um, your sprouts going bad. They won't mm -hmm. last as long as you'd like them. And store your sprouts in the refrigerator after um, the allotted time to sprout in the car. So after you sprout them outside on the counter, you're going to make sure you store them in the refrigerator. You're not just going to keep them on the counter um, where it's warm because the, the heat will... Ev you know, after it gets to a certain stage of growing, you need for it to go in a refrigerator. Yes. Um, also, um, you're going to sprout only enough that you need for about a week's supply. So you're going, you mm. can do continuous sprouting by um, staggering. Like say you sprout today, then you sprout maybe in two or three days later. So you always have fresh sprouts, but also you only want to keep like about a week's supply in the refrigerator. Um, mm. well, that's it. That's it, guys. So next, Marley. All right. No problem. Uh, awesome. How about the fact that sprouts actually protect against cancer? Imagine the cancer being on the rampage here in my country. I guess it may not necessarily be where you're from, but in my country, the Bahamas, we have lots of cancer. So sprouts can, can with an impression, line up of vitamins, minerals, antioxidants, and enzymes like um, glucoraphanin. Gluco sprouts can fight cancer causing free radicals about 20 times more than non-sprouted foods. Can you imagine? Wow. 20 times more if you were to sprout your foods you will actually be able to fight cancer 20 times more. That's how I look at that. Sprouts also help alkalize the body, right? And this is what we often say. We say, well, disease cannot survive in a body that's alkaline. So sprouts help to alkalize your body, offering it protection from cancer, okay? They also support cell regeneration, inhibit the growth of abnormal cells. Numerous studies show the anti-cancer activity of broccoli sprouts are cruciferous, eh? Cabbage sprouts? Yes. Of course, yes. buckwheat is not one of the cruciferous, but buckwheat and alfalfa sprouts. Oh, buckwheat? Yeah. The sprout. Yeah. Okay. All right. So these cruciferous foods in sprouted form helps to really fight cancer. And so I would suggest that 
you pay attention to what we're sharing today. Hopefully you will learn some of what we're talking about today and you will start sprouting today. You'll find yes. out in the next few moments that you don't need a glass balls jar. All you need is a container. I have all kinds in front of me just to shoe to prove to you that all you need is to do is have a will and a mind to do it. All right? Yes. We're going to continue to emphasize the importance of sprouting, even the broccoli and the colorful sprouts, because they contain up to 100 times the sulforaphane, which is a phytonutrient, compared to just eating your broccoli and your cauliflower as a plant. If you just sprout them, you're getting 100 times that cancer-fighting property. So cruciferous sprouts are highly effective in decreasing the incidence of tumor cells in the breast tissue. Also, these sprouts can induce carcinogen detoxifying enzymes. Mm. Wow. Praise the Lord. Praise yeah. the Lord. So it also says here that sprouts are high in vitamin C, aha, which helps out our white blood cells to fight off infections, yes, more effectively. And we all know that with COVID, right, we were trying to take yes. as much vitamin C as we could. All we need to do is get lots of sprouts that would have added to the vitamin C that we were taking. In addition to that, sprouts are also rich in vitamin A, um, which contributes to strengthening our immune system. And of course, strengthening the eyes. We need that, right? Because I know I can use it. I'm yes. not wearing glasses when I never did before. So sprouts are good in high in vitamin A, high in vitamin C. Okay, so guys, thank you for sharing this live. If you haven't shared this yes, yet, please do so. Um, this is great information because we are heading into times where even buying produce is going to be ridiculously expensive. So you can sprout and you can sprout, it's gonna be less expensive to sprout and you're getting more nutrients. Can you imagine a hundred times more so fewer fade? So sprouting is actually, from using the seeds to sprout actually be more cost effective. So please share this information. You may know someone who is suffering from some form of cancer, um, from prostate to um, breast cancer, as we just spoke about, the, the sprouting will help to reduce the person's risk or give them relief healing mm. so Amen. next provides protein sprout contain more amino acids than non-sprouted plants as much as 30 percent more they also contain high concentrations of vitamins a b c e which bind to the protein and help them get absorbed easily so think about it 30% more um, amino acids. And so that, you know, amino acids are good for repair and building tissue. So very, for cell formation, very, very important. We're almost mm. finished with the slides. Awesome, awesome. Just about three more slides and then we will show you how to sprout. So it provides protein. Sprouts oh. contain more amino acids than non-sprouted plants as more as 30 percent so you guys who want to go to the gym and think you want to eat up all of these um <laughs> uh animal sources of protein all you need to do is have lots of sprouts and you get 30 percent more protein from your sprouts they also contain high concentrations of vitamins a b oh, c e ah i said it already which I do, bind, I do, I do. <laughs> that's okay. Which bind to the protein and help them get absorbed easily. That's okay. Uh, my mama okay. says, my mama said, repetition deepens impression. Amen. 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 All right. We have two more slides. AIDS in weight loss. Due to low starch content, sprouts are low in calories while being high in nutrients. Sprouts, uh, sprouts actually curb the appetite. If you start sprouting you'll find that those hunger pants will decrease because they release uh, um this hormone called gremlin and uh, not gremlin ghrelin which means we will eat less or we mm. will have less feeling of hunger as mm. soon as you start eating you feel satisfied you know so wow. it's amazing it does we need that we need that for our program Yes. Amen. Amen. And I think this is our last one. It improves yes. digestion. 
Sprouting also increases the amount of insoluble fiber, which adds bulk, right? And helps yes. move things along the digestive tract, reducing constipation and other associated issues like bloating, gas, and indigestion. So for those of us who have issues with those types of things, the sprouts may just be your answer, answer. to the answer to your prayer. Okay. Um, like Michelle said, I've been sprouting for, well, I haven't sprouted in a while, but I did for many, many years when I lived in New York. I loved sprouting. Um, I just got out of it. But now I'm back again with my sprouting and I'm so excited because I know the value of these sprouts. I know that sprouts are really potent. They're high in so many nutrients and vitamins and phytochemicals that we can't go wrong without, without having them. We must have them in our diet. And guess what Absolutely. I love most about it? You can do it right at home, right in the comfort of your kitchen. Even if you don't have a kitchen. Yes. Even if you don't have a kitchen. Some of us may say, well, Marlene, I live in a one-room place and I don't have a kitchen. You can still sprout. You can. You can still sprout even if you don't have a kitchen. So hang around. Don't go anywhere. We will be talking to you more about how you can get started with your sprouting. Michelle? Oh, we're... So That's you it. want... Okay. You okay. want me to start? No problem. Or are sure. you going to start? So, no, you can go ahead and show them what you have, and then I'll show them what I have. Okay. So, mm -hmm. here's what I have. Um, I got my seeds online, so you can check online or in health food stores. A lot of the health food stores carry sprouting seeds. Here I have broccoli seeds, and I can show you the final. Because, Marlene, you want to demonstrate? I'll show sure. you what mine looks like. Sure. This is ready to be eaten. So this bring it closer is my to the camera. Broccoli. Let's see. Let's see if I can bring her closer is so you guys can really see. Okay. Uh-huh. Yes, it is. I'm going to remove myself so you guys can see. So here. Beautiful. So how many tablespoons did you put in that jar? Two tablespoons. This was two, two. tablespoons of seed. Wow. And look how it filled up the jar, basically. Wow. Two so, tablespoons. Let me show you what tablespoons. two tablespoons looks like. We have a few moments. Yes. I want to show you guys what two tablespoons looks like. Right? Because maybe you don't know. Imagine two tablespoons fills a jar like that. Right? Yes. Now listen. So I have mung beans, which I picked yes. up at the Chinese store. Right? Yes. Edward says he's carefully listening. Yes, Edward, I, I, hope you're not just, I hope you're not just carefully listening, but you're going to do it. So I got my <laughs> tablespoon. This is not the actual spoon that I use, but I'm just showing you. So I have my mung beans, and I put them in a container, right? Right. So I'm just using a plastic container because I want you to know that you can use anything. Right now, we're only soaking this overnight, right? Let me put it in my glass. We're only going to soak it overnight, look, right? That's our mung beans, two tablespoons. I'm going to fill the container. Why? You're frozen a little, Marlene. Marlene, you're frozen. Oh, our internet is still on. So uh -oh. step one. So my one two tablespoons. Oh, can good. you see me? So you are frozen. You are frozen. So repeat all that. Michelle? Repeat. Mm -hmm. You are frozen. Okay, now we're back. We're, we're back. back. we're back. We're back. We're back. We have some bad weather here, so we're going to wrap up in two minutes because we have bad weather Oh, we have here. bad weather? Oh, wow. Yes, we do. So I have my mung beans in two tablespoons of... Two tablespoons of mung beans with yes. um, a bowl of water, and I let yes. that sit overnight on my counter, okay? Overnight right. or at least 12 hours. What is going to happen is the water is going, the, 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 the mung beans are going to soak up some of that moisture and that water. The next morning, you pour the water off. Then yeah. you take your jar like this one. So let's pretend this is the jar, all right? You're pretending. So this is my jar, and I put them in the jar. I covered them. I covered it with a mesh. My own has a little, you can, it can breathe. There are holes in there, it can breathe, right? Look at this one. So that's two tablespoons also. So my jar is going to be as filled as Michelle's. Look at that. Wow. Mine is going to be just as filled as, I can't wait for my own. This is just two days. This is a two day oh, jar, yeah. okay? Hold on, let me show you a three, well, I don't know if it's three days. How much is this one? 
We started this one on um, Monday. 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 Oh, hold on. Okay. And so this is this is Monday Monday. This is Monday morning. This is Monday evening. You see that? Look at that. And you can see look how it's growing. Growing. Can you see the tails? Okay. I can see the mung bean tails. I can see the tails. I can see the tails. <laughs> and then <laughs> right. And then what you want to do with the mung beans? I have a um cheesecloth on cheese top. Cloth. And I cover it with the cheesecloth. Let me show you what I do. And I'm going to show I, I drain that. I drain that and I have it at an angle. Now this is not the yeah. container I was going to use, but I just used it. Let me just pour it out so you can see. Hold on. Hold on. Right. And right. or if you're here in the States, you can use one of these containers too. So see it Yeah, has that's nice. So I can good. probably try and get one yeah. of those later. Yeah. That's very nice. Okay. Hold on. I'm using my dish drainer, which is a little far from where we are now in terms of that. Because I want you to know that you have to cover. You got to cover it. Cover it. I know th those of us who want to know how to sprout, there are people here watching and you want to know how to sprout. So I covered yeah. it. I put it in my bowl like so. And nice. then you put it to sleep. Put a breathable towel on top. Cover it nice and like really cover it. I have a dish towel over here. If I could find it, right. if I could reach it. Cover it totally. And the mung beans so that they can be pretty and green so they won't turn white. Is that the right thing way of saying it? You want all the chlorophyll. You want all the chlorophyll. All right. So, and they grow faster in the dark. They, they grow faster. Go faster because yours is growing so far. I did mine and I didn't cover them. They How grew long did you have yours? Fast. How long did you grow as fast as yours? How long since you started growing yours? No, these are broccoli. Mine, oh, these are broccoli. Oh. Okay. So they're right. different from mung bean. Okay. Then, if you don't have a jar, fancy like my little fancy jar grab yourself a water bottle hello nice. so that's my can you see the sprouts can you see it oh yeah oh, is that lentil martin lentil yes my lentil. lentils are sprouting can you see the little tail yeah i can see the tail <laughs> Look at the and tail I started, hold on this is one Monday. day one, one day. day this wow. is not even a full 24 hours i started it last night Last night I started. It's not even 24 hours and it's growing oh, already. Wow. So those of us who think, well, I don't have any fancy containers, Marlene. I'm not with you. What you're going to do is you're going to get yourself a plastic water bottle. And yes. you put, you pour, you can, you, you can create a funnel or you can simply take, um, a, you know, pretend funnel you can use your, your fingers and just spoon right. it in there or cut off the top of one of your bottles and make a funnel. Get your two tablespoons in there. Or a tablespoon. Yeah. And it will grow. Let it soak overnight like we did the other. The next day, pour the water off. Use a fork. Or use a, a, a mesh like this. See, look at that. The mesh allows me. You see, it has holes. And I just right. put an elastic band around there. It's perfect. It's perfect. And it still Beautiful. can breathe. And I simply put it right in my dish drainer. And it's growing. I also have quinoa growing right oh wow now my quinoa is not doing so well i don't know why i'm gonna figure it out i've never done quinoa that's good yeah though. but i'm trying everything here why not so i have another jar yes. it's just a plastic jar that spaghetti sauce jar and i simply put the Look cup i've got this mesh use elastic bands there is no reason no, why can't. we can't do sprouting now, tell me what you have at home. Come on, tell me what you have at home. Do you have lentils? Do you have mung beans? I know you probably don't have mung beans. You may have some some um, soybeans. You might. What do you yeah, have at home? Beans. Come on, talk back to me. Talk to me. I want to know what do you have at home because we only have a minute left. You're really listening. Edward, I like Edward. Edward says I'm really listening. <laughs> Amen. What do you have at home that you can start sprouting? Do you have a water bottle? I'm sure you do. Yeah. I'm sure you do. Or you may have an old spaghetti jar. Yeah. Right? For the ladies, I know we don't wear hosiery much, but you may have a brand new pair of stockings. You, work. Stocking. you can use the stockings. You Anything that can breathe. Anything yep. that can breathe. Okay? Yes. Somebody says yes. My Facebook user, I, was going I forgot. To, yeah. I Let's was going go to say Marlene. Facebook. Yeah. Facebook, uh -huh. I forgot. 
I was gonna also say, Marley, if you don't have cheesecloth, what do you use? You can use them. You can use stockings. You can use. There's so much you can use. Old just curtain so cloth. Much. Just wash it out. <laughs> what is it? Old curtain. The old curtain cloth or a curtain yes. cloth. Just wash yes. it out. Yes. Or a handkerchief. Yeah. A handkerchief that's nice and, and thin. Yes, you can use all of those things. You know, yes. you can try all of those. All right. So come on. I want us. To, I want you to start sending us pictures. When we come yes. on again. When we come on again. Water bottles for real. Yes, use your water bottles. Use all your water bottles and start sprouting. Just imagine, today is Tuesday. By Thursday, this is going to be filled with food. And enough food to fill me. And the nutrients. Think about all the nutrients you're getting. All the protein. Protein. More vitamin. protein. 30% more pro potent. Huh? Yeah. The cancer fighting um phytochemicals and what have you. Yeah. Let's try it. Come on. Who's in? Come on. Let's see. Let me see you say yes, I'm trying to do it. Let's I know I always like us to commit. I like to see the commitment. Come on, let me see the commitment. Let me see you commit today. Come on, let me see you say I'm gonna try. And then what you can do, you can always send pictures as we can share in our groups and show people that. On our Facebook yes. audience today, we shared about sprouting and everyone said they would try. Right? right. I yes. hope that you guys will try. Why not? If not, why not? <laughs> I, became a, I became a lot like my mom, Michelle. I have all of her really? sayings. If not, why not? <laughs> yeah, me too. That's something that she would say, you know? Yes. If not, why not? Just try it today. All right? So I don't know if there's anything else I may have missed on the sprouting. But just remember, yeah, just very everything. important point, make sure you drain all of the water off, all of the liquid off. Oh. Make sure it's at a down position, like so, and make sure to spread your seeds out as much as possible so that they, don't, they aren't one on top of the other. Because then it would create a, a tendency for mold to grow. All right? So right. make sure it's kind of like that. And like how I have this one. This one is perfect. You see how it's spread out over the jar? Only thing is it's not growing. <laughs> Right. <laughs> it's not growing. But I'm not going to give up. I'm uh, not giving yeah. up. I'm not going to give up. I'm going to try again. I have another bag of, this is organic quinoa. This may have been hulled. It's probably old and just, yeah. Yeah, it may be hulled. I have, an, uh, I have another bag here, a tri-color. So I'll try the tri-color one. Wow. Um, yeah, to yeah. see if that works. Yeah. Oh, Marlene, I want to talk a little bit about how when you finish sprouting and you're ready to eat it, what mm -hmm. you're going to do is, what I do is, I put some, I take the amount I'm going to eat, and I put it in water, and mm -hmm. the seeds that did not sprout will flow to the top. And then oh. I'll just use a small thymus strainer and just scoop those off. And I keep doing that so I don't, you know, because those seeds, they're not germinated. So literally sometimes I go and put them in the soil and plant. Like I did it with my sunflower sprouts, and now I have sunflowers out there growing. <laughs> Wow, so, wow. Yeah, so you if you you don't want to eat too much of the ones that are not germinated, so you just scoop mm -hmm. them off. And that's and it. then you could just try sprouting them again, too. And you can Why sprout not? them again. Yeah. Why not? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, they can sprout again. So so the ones that didn't sprout will float. Absolutely. How They'll how float. how how unique is that? <laughs> yes. They're either float or some will settle at the bottom. That they're, they're right. either at the top or the right. bottom. Right, right. right. <laughs> that's pretty so, cool. That's yeah, pretty very cool. cool. Very yeah. cool. Yeah. So, so just start sprouting. You can use anything to get started. I'm excited about sprouting. As you can tell, I have six jars going on here. Two, four, six. I have six containers of sprouts. I'm hoping actually, Michelle, I'm hoping yes. actually that tomorrow morning this will be so full that I can carry yes. it to my little deli and nice. we can actually serve it in our salads or something tomorrow. Oh, yeah. absolutely. That yeah. is so I'm hope I'm really praying that it will grow. It will grow. You know, that's my prayer. That it will grow, grow, grow tonight. Okay? So that's why I'm covering up. It will. And remember, remember also, you have to rinse twice a day. Morning and evening. Don't forget. Yes. Very important. Don't forget. To grow. Very important. Yeah. Very important. You must rinse morning, drain, evening, drain. Okay, and that's 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 key for for your sprouts to grow. All and right? and Mar Marlene, another property we don't want to forget that I forget to mention is the anti-aging property. 
it's very good for anti-aging um, of the skin and so on. So for beautification, it's a lot of sprouts. That, I remember. That must be why you're looking so young today. <laughs> 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 that must be why you're looking so young. It's your young. class, Marlene. It's your class. I'm losing oh, the weight. Oh, man. And so that's anti-aging too. Exercise <laughs> is anti-aging, ain't it? It Exercise. is. It and is. this is good for weight loss because it decreases your appetite. So all of this, this combination is great. A lot of fiber, a lot of nutrients, and just these will just help to remove free radical damage from the body. Hence, Amen. they're very good for the skin and the whole system. So, awesome. Awesome. Thanks. Awesome. All awesome right. information yeah. today. Awesome. Yeah. If you enjoyed today's program, yeah. don't keep it to yourself. Share don't it. Share. share it. Share it. Share, share it on your share. Facebook page. Share it on your um in your on your WhatsApp. Share it with somebody. Don't yes. ever keep it to yourself. Because in keeping it to yourself, it will do you no good. All right. Yeah. So Sarah, Sarah said great video, Marlene. Did you say oh, that? Thank you. And Oh, Shianda. Yes. Hi, Hi. Shianda. Good afternoon. How are you? We, had, we were talking about sprouting, sprouts. We were talking about sprouts. sprouts. You're a little late, so when we end, you're going to have to go now and watch the video so you can start sprouting. I know you do gardening, but do you sprout, Shianda? Do you sprout? I know, I know you're, you're a gardener, but do you sprout? Do you eat sprouts? Hmm? All right. So that's what we were talking about today. All right, Michelle, is there anything else? No, uh, no. That's it. We're doing good. Doing good. Well, doing let's, uh, good. We, could, we could surely go up with our song. How about it? I'm going to have to have Zaria. I'm going to have to have Zaria um, kick me out of that one. Hold on. Hold on. I'll let Marlene, her know when. Mm -hmm. When does your class start? The next class? The next exercise challenge? Oh, let me put that up now. Let's get, let me find it on mm. so I can share it. Uh, video file. Our next program. Mm. Our next program, where is he? Where is he? I okay, it's coming now. It's right coming time now. to look good and feel good. It's challenge time. Get on board with certified health coach Marlene McKinney. Global $40 weight loss challenge. Enjoy vegan meal plans, clean eating, routine exercise with awesome WhatsApp group support. Get excited. Don't hesitate. Register, forward email address via WhatsApp to 242 Five three five six two nine three or Marlene underscore McKinney at live.com. Don't forget to add your name as it appears on your bank card. What time is it? Life changing time. Join the challenge. Get on board. Okay, so I have a program coming up in just a short time, and I really would like to invite you to join that program. It's not just for weight loss. It is also a wellness program. I call it my virtual lifestyle program. And we exercise together from 5 to 6 a.m. in the morning, Eastern Standard Time. Then we go into our health lecture. Guess what my students learned this morning? They learned how to make their own soap. So we're not only concerned about what's going into the body. We're concerned about what's going on the body. So you can look youthful. You can keep your youthful skin and, you know, just taking care of ourselves. So why not WhatsApp me? The number is going to be provided again. I will play that commercial again as we close out. So you can WhatsApp me to join. People have joined from as far as Australia. Our number one weight loss person right now is Athena, Athena Carfax, and she has lost 72 pounds only from February to now. So come on, join us. I promise you it's life-changing. It's a beautiful program. It's an awesome journey. Ask anyone that's in the program and they will tell you that what I'm saying is definitely correct. You can also look at um, another young lady. Um, what's her name? Elvis. Elvis is looking wonderful. I mean, just fabulous. Paula looking fabulous. Um, there's so many who are doing so well. I can think of many students who are participants not students they call it been student you know being a teacher that's what i call you um you think of all these participants who are doing so great and so come on join the program be a part of the melt group and we are happy to have you it begins on monday the new group begins this coming monday oh, wow. it's just a dollar 27 per day that's how much it is works out to be a dollar some a day or 40 dollars a month or if you were to sign up today throughout the rest of the week and you bring somebody along with you or two 
Let me give you a bigger discount than just the $99. We have a $99 discount, which signs you up for three months. So you get $20 off. But if you come along with a friend, we'll take an additional $20 off just because you heard it here on this program today on The Sprout. Okay? So come on, sprout on in. Get on into the program. I promise you, you won't be disappointed. Absolutely. Absolutely. And our um, next program, Marlene, too, is... Our next program is this coming... Uh, Saturday. Saturday, Saturday morning, Lifestyle 360. Someone challenged me the other morning, said, why is it 360? Because 360 sounds like you're going straight around and coming back the same way. I said, no, my dear, when you get on this lane, the something better lane, when you make that 360, you come back, you come back transformed, <laughs> renewed. Hello, you come back being something better. Hello? Well, so that's what we, yeah. So. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> <laughs> so oh, I guess they wanted you to say Lifestyle Zero. <laughs> Lifestyle 170, she said, I think it was already that. Oh, so, I said, oh, yeah? <laughs> yeah. I said, no, it's 360. It's 360, baby. <laughs> it's 360, baby. Come on, you know, so, yeah. That's Come on, share the link with um, your friends and family. We were talking today about sprouting. Michelle's jar is all full. She's been growing hers for four days. My sprouts, just a <laughs> tablespoon and a half of mine. I have half a jar. You nice. can eat for 25 cents. Imagine. Yes. When yes. did you ever know that you could eat for 25 cents? Learn it here today on The Sprout. So come on, watch the show, share the show, and we look Thank forward you. to having you on our next program. Here's our ad Thank again you. before we close out. We look forward to seeing you again on Sabbath. Yes. Don't forget, 745. 745. What time is it? Right time to look good and feel good. It's challenge time. Get on board with certified health coach Marlene McKinney. Global $40 weight loss challenge. Enjoy vegan meal plans, clean eating, routine exercise with awesome WhatsApp group support. Get excited. Don't hesitate. Register, forward email address via WhatsApp to 242-535-6293 or Marlene underscore McKinney at live.com. Don't forget to add your name as it appears on your bank card. What time is it? Life changing time. Join the challenge. Get on board. All right, B. I I don't know if Michelle has anything else to share. I will let her share while I pull up our music. I want you to get moving, Bahamas. Get moving, Florida. Get moving. Just keep moving. Let's do that today. So I'm going to pull up our song. Just give me a moment. Yes. Thank you for joining. Thank you. It's still here, G. <laughs> you left that. <laughs> Where is Marlene? <laughs> I'm right here. Okay. Oh, let me see if I can get the right one. We have more people joining us now that we're okay. leaving, eh? Marlene, oh, no. so many people coming in on now. You've got to oh, go back and watch the beginning of the show. It was so oh, good. No. Sprouting 101. Us. Oh, no. I know. <laughs> wow. But guess what? You have a lot to go back and watch. Please promise us that you'll do that. Take that yes. Just yes. Yeah. So just promise me that you'll go back and watch it. All right. Watch the program. Learn how you can sprout. And bounce with me. Hey, what are you doing? The vitamin bounce. I can hardly hear it though, Marley. Huh? I can hardly hear it. Oh. Let me play it. I'll play it. Marley? You got it? Uh, no, I can't. It's the wrong computer. It's on the other. Yeah. You can't hear it? It's, it, I can hear but it's low, it's far. Yeah. Better. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Y'all gotta come exercise with us in the morning. Yeah. So much fun. <laughs> it is. <laughs> I'm trying to work up that cornbread, Michelle. I'm about to have I another work out, yeah. <laughs> Bye, guys. See you on Tuesday with our next show. And on Saturday morning, 
Yes. Yeah. Yes. Three sixty. Three sixty. Until next time. See you later. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> They're not going anywhere, so I'm gonna let it play. <laughs> I wish I could have played on my my laptop, but no, I can hear it. It's, not, it's, not, it's, it's low. It's far, uh, but it's good. I can hear it. But it's good. Mm. <laughs> it's happy, happy song. <laughs> Talk to y'all later. See you later. We Bye. Love you Bye for now. <laughs> Bye.